Today is Friday, November 13, 2020, and in our devotionals this week, we've been talking about security. Jesus expressed it like, stop worrying. And in Matthew 6, 25 through 33, I'm reading the last two of those verses. Second part of verse 32, your heavenly Father knows you need all these things, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. God knows you need food and clothing. <laughs> He's well aware of it. This is the God who owns the cattle on a thousand hills, the wealth in every mine. This is the God who spoke something out of nothing. This is the God who spoke, used his word to speak the world into existence. This is he to whom nothing is impossible. Before you were asking him, he was sending a response. Even now he's looking over your life and preparing a table for you. Wow. Wow. Here's what Jesus says is necessary. Knowing that the birds get fed, the lilies are clothed better than Solomon in all his glory. Jesus says, priority number one in your life, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and you'll have always the provision of food and clothes. Seek means to strive for. It means to search for, it means to pursue, and it also means to obtain. Now, there's no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but you already knew that. See, this is not fantasy world. What Jesus is sharing is not a fantasy. He promised that those who hungered and thirsted for righteousness will be filled. Seek first, search first, pursue First, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> God's kingdom and everything about it. Seek after conformity to Jesus Christ. Seek after a life lived by kingdom principles, many of which are outlined in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 5, 6, and 7. Live in forgiveness, live in love, live in peace, walk in joy. That is kingdom culture. Don't live in revengefulness. Don't figure out how to get even. When reviled, don't act in kind. Seek first is a priority, not second or third, or when everything else on your bucket list is accomplished. Make it your life's purpose to seek God's kingdom and at once in the same time, Seek his righteousness. Remember, seeking means to search for, it means to strive for, it means to pursue, it means to obtain. So put to death your flesh. Don't let flesh have its way. Discipline it. Exercise faith and temptation. Pursue what is holy. Become innocent concerning evil. If you make room for that which is on the fence, you'll soon fall over to the other side. Honestly, honestly today, can you say this is the priority of your life to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness? When the followers of Jesus Christ simply respond in obedience to Jesus in his teaching on worry, we find a confidence and power to live in an ungodly world like lights in a dark place. When we shift our priority to what Jesus says is an eternal answer to worry. Did you catch this? When we shift our priority to what Jesus says as, is an eternal answer to worry, it doesn't matter what's taking place, COVID, political unrest, terrorism, that stuff won't hold water with us. It's not gonna terrorize us. It's not going to annihilate us. It's not even gonna have power to harass us. See, we are freedom messengers. We have risen above. We're sitting in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. We're not under oppression because Jesus has broken the power of the oppressor. Hallelujah. Yes, we may suffer affliction, have tribulation, be under trial. Even we may go to jail or be martyred for our faith. But no one can take 
the freedom wherein Christ has set us free. We are free from sin, its dominion, its power, its control over our lives. I had better get this right. Priority number one, seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And you best get it right also. What's your priority? Let's pray. Oh, Father, lots of things have gotten in the way of this priority in my life from time to time. I don't like it that way. Forgive me for the times I've changed my focus, some unintentional and some very intentional. Blot out all my transgressions. Remove far from me my iniquities. Lead me in a righteous path. And Lord, help your followers today. We're to reflect kingdom culture. Not brag about being king's kids, but live like we've been changed. Help me, help all of us to do that to your glory. Amen. Grace and peace. Have a blessed day.